Hey guys, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and in this video today we are going to talk about something basics but really important for any Android developer to learn this kind of technique. So today we are going to talk about a recycler view but we are going to display the recycler view as a grid view. So we are going to set the layout as a grid view for our recycler view data. So in general recycler view always have the single column and it will have the multiple data so we can scroll around and uh, it is just a static data we can customize it but with the grid view we can set the multiple grid with the columns of multiple types okay so generally we can use grid view with the recycler recycler view to give the multi-column data structure and we can retrieve the data to display in that grid view so in general when we see the applications like news applications or any other application that have multiple grid they are generally developed by using the recycler view so in this video today we're going to start by creating a simple recycler view with the adapter and we're going to get a uh, use some sample data to display in the recycler view and then we're going to assign our recycler view to the uh, grid view and we're going to create a layout custom layout to display the grid view and we will display the multi-column data with the sample data okay so let's start by creating a new Android studio project so I have my Android studio open here click on the new project create new empty project the build is finished now let me go to the activity main of this XML file and here now I need to add the recycler view but uh, initially in when you create new project Android recycler view do not come with the uh, package we need to add the dependencies required for the recycler view so click on this download icon here and when you click on this it will give you the option to add the dependencies on our project click on OK and it will add the recycler view dependency to our project we also need the card view because I'm going to design a custom layout for this recycler view and the grid view so click on this card view and click on ok now we have the both dependencies set up for our application now we can drag and drop the recycler view into our so i'm gonna drag and drop the recycler view that we need in our layout file and i'm gonna set the constraint so i'm gonna give zero for all the four sites and set the match constraint for height and width now i'm gonna give the id for this okay i'll just say data list now let's go back to our main activity here and uh, I'm gonna create the recycler view variable let me connect that with the external resources now I'm gonna go and create one custom layout for this so I'm gonna create new layout resource file give any name that you want I'm just gonna give custom grid layout I'm gonna replace this linear layout with constant layout and inside this constant layout I'm gonna have the card view so go to the container drag and drop the card view that we want and I'm gonna fix the constraint for this so I'm gonna pause the video and quickly design this uh, layout that we want for this recycler view so this is the custom layout that I'm going to use here I have used one card view and it, the card view is having content padding of 10 dp and card elevation of 10 dp we can also give the corner radius if we want that but I don't want to use the corner radius but you can give corner radius of any dp if you want to have the radius for this card view and inside this i have this image that will display the icon or something and this is the name of the grid okay so now uh, in this inside the main activity i want to specify the adapters and things so to do that first i need a adapter that is going to bind the data so i'm going to create new java class name it as adapter this adapter will extend the recycler view adapter okay now we need to create this view holder class because we are referring to the view holder class that is present inside this adapter so i'm going to create new public class inside this uh, adapter class inner class that is called view holder and it will extend the recycler view dot view holder okay now we need to implement few method but before that we need to create a matching super constructor here so now we need to implement the required methods for this adapter class let me implement that we need to implement all of these three things so yeah now uh, 
I'm going to create a constructor for this adapter so that we can pass the data from main activity and bind that data to our custom grid layout that we're going to use for this. I'm going to get the image and the title from the main activity from the list and display here. I need a list of a string with the titles. So I'm going to take the list of titles, list of images. Uh, and here you can see I have given the integers as a type for this generic list. That is because I'm going to store the different images in the drawable folder and I'm going to pass the ID of that images to this uh, adapter so that I can assign the different images for the different recycler view. Import the classes that we, want, we need and last thing we need is a context. Now I'm going to create the constructor that is for adapter. All the constructor have the matching name with the class and this will take the few arguments first is context second is titles so list of third thing is list of integers for the images okay now i'm gonna assign the data that is passed from the main activity here in the titles images and the context of this current uh, adapter so let me do that by using this keyboard so this set titles equals to titles and finally i'm gonna create the layout inflator that is going to bind our custom custom layout file to our recycler view. Uh, here, I'm going to also going to create the layout inflator that is going to bind the our custom layout resource file to our recycler view so that we can use the custom layout that we have designed for this recycler view. I'm gonna say inflator. And inside this, I'm gonna assign the inflator I'm going to call layout inflator from the context that is passed from the user. Okay. So actually we don't need this context here because we are directly using that. But if you want, we can store that context in the, in the context variable and we can inflate this layout inside this view holder. That is really not necessary. We can do it in this way so that we will be using one more or less variable. Now I'm going to cr create the new view here and from the inflator, I'm going to inflate the layout. So R dot layout and custom grid layout. Now we need to pass the view group that we have that is parent and the we are not attaching it to the root. Okay, so we are passing the false. And now finally, I need to create the new view holder. So new view holder and remember view holder is the inner class that we have created here and I need to pass the view. In the main activity, I'm going to go back here, create the data that I want to use for this uh, recycler view okay and i also need few images so uh, i'm gonna create few icons here using from the drawable so i'm gonna create and i'm gonna go and create a few icons so if you want to follow i'm gonna show you by creating one icon here and after that i'm just going to do it by pausing the video you can do in the similar way okay so click on this clip art here and from here we can select the any icon that we have here so i'm gonna create and just click on next and if you want to change the color, you can change the color here by clicking here. I don't want to change the color, so click on finish. And similar way, I'm going to create three more icons. Okay, I have created the four icons here. You, you can go ahead and create more if you want to use more icons. But uh, for this demo purpose, I'm just going to use four. And now I'm going to create the list of titles. So list, I'm going to give the titles as the name. And similarly for the images that is of type integers and images. Okay. So let me import the class that we need. Now we're good to go. Now I'm going to populate this list with the data. Uh, we have the variable name titles and I'm going to create a new array list. And for the images as well. So new array list. Okay, so I'm going to populate the data with the titles and images. So for the titles, I can take any random title. So we have four images here. So I'm going to give the four titles and we will have the four. And similarly, now I need to get the uh, integer value of these images and I'm going to store that in the our images list. Okay, so images dot add. And now I need to I can get the integer value of the images by using R dot drawable dot airlines okay and similarly for images that add okay so these are the four images that we're going to use so let me create the instance of adapter here okay 
now before uh, creating the layout and assigning that to the our uh, assigning that to the adapter i'm going to go back to the adapter here and i'm going to do some essential thing that is first uh, i need to get the data here so whatever the grid layout uh, id is so we have the image view 2 and the text view 2 as our id for this data i can change it change it to some appropriate name but uh, i don't want to do that right now so let me go back to the view holder here and I'm going to create one text view for the titles for the grid icon. Okay. And inside this, I'm going to initialize that with, uh, with the XML resources. So title. Now I need to use the item view because it is our main view here. So in this view will contain the custom grid layout XML resources file. So r.id dot text view two. Okay. And similarly for the image, I can do the same thing. Now finally, I can assign the images to these uh, XML components. So in the on bind view holder, I can do that. So let me go to this bind view holder by using the view holder that is holder. Uh, I can get the title or grid icon. That is the variable that I just created in the view holder. So in the title, I can set the set text now because i have the list of the titles i can get the according to their position because i have this position here so okay similarly i can set the image to image view okay each and every item of the recycler view will have the different set of images and different titles okay and finally i need to pass the total item that is present here pass the total number of recycler view items that we are going to display and that is i can get by using the title size so there are four items in the titles so this size uh, will return the four and we will display the four data in our recycle view and if we decided to change that in the future so it will automatically accumulate that number because we will be changing the size of the titles as a list array okay so let me go back here and now i'm going to create a new adapter uh, actually i'm going to initialize the adapter because i have already created the adapter variable so i'm going to create new adapter and here I need to pass the context, titles, and images. Okay. Now, generally, what we do here is we'll directly set the layout manager for our recycler view. But since here we want to display the data in you know grid view, so we'll create the new uh, grid view layout here. So by using grid layout manager, I can create grid layout manager. So new grid layout manager, and inside this I need to first pass the context. And second, we need to pass the span count, that is number of columns that we want to display in our recycler view. So if uh, here we will display the two columns, but we will, we, you can uh, experiment with this number to display the different number of uh, columns in the your activity. So we'll do that later. And uh, third things, we need to pass the orientation. So if you want to display the sliding type of recycler view, you can use the horizontal the, uh, orientation here but now uh, here I, I want to display in the vertical mode so I'm gonna use grid layout manager dot vertical okay and finally we need to pass the reverse layout boolean value that is false in our case and finally I can set this layout manager to the our recycler view so recycler view that is uh, sorry in our place grid list so our, our recycler view variable is called data list so set layout manager and our layout manager is called grid layout manager okay and finally i'm gonna set the adapter for our data list set adapter okay now we are ready to display uh, run our applications and uh, check how it's gonna look like so i have connected my device here let me run this okay i try to uh, run this app but uh, let me show you what happened. I tried to open it and it's, it's crashing. And if I go here and see the lock at, you can see it says the app, con app compared view cannot be cast to the Java util that list. So let me show you what mistakes I made. So here I have created a variable called as images with the list, right? And I tried to create a new variable with the uh, name as images but i have given here the variable name as grid icon so i made these silly mistakes 
that's why my app was crashing so i'm gonna replace this here with the grid icon now i'm gonna run this application again and it should work fine until unless we encounter other typical error that i have made okay now here you can see the app is running and some uh, something is not right with this grid so let me go and fix that first so uh, i think it is problem with the grid layout here so let me go here and i'm gonna set the constraint here and i'm gonna give the uh, margin button as 8 so let me run this again i believe that, that is because of that uh, constraint there so it will it should fix that uh, error here okay now you can see we have this grid item with the first item second item third and fourth now if i want to add a few more uh, grid item here i can do that by uh, adding the few extra data here so uh, let me do that again i'm gonna copy and paste all these four item here and i'm gonna do the same for this as well so that we'll have the even uh, equal number of images and the titles and now i'm gonna run this app again and we will see what happens okay now you can see we have this grid layout with the two grids and we have like eight items here i'm gonna go here and change this span count and show you guys what happens if i give this count as three so i'm gonna run it again and you can see we have three grid layout here and you can change that number to make the adjustment that you want here and with that you also need to change the layout and things because it also changes the spaces that we have available here for these items so two looks fine for this application so let me run it again now if you want to click on this and open something you can handle the on-click listener uh, in the adapter here so you can go here inside this view holder constructor and by using item view you can set on click listener on that you can create new in instant uh, you can open the new activity by adding the new intent here or you can do so many things okay so here i'm just gonna get the adapter position and i'm gonna get the context so e dot get context okay so now if i run this application it should respond with a click on the item in the recycler view of our grid okay okay click on this it says clicked on zero if i click on this it says click on seven and so on okay guys so this is how we uh, implement the grid view layout on our recycler view so we initially started out with the uh, recycler view all these items are in recycler view but we have implemented the grid view as our layout manager so it is displaying on the grid so if you want to learn about uh, recycler view or how to display the simple item in recycler view then i will link that video on the description because i have already added videos on that and if you want this uh, app tutorials on the kotlin as well let me know in the comment i'll be making the same tutorials on kotlin programming language as well so uh, that's it for this video today guys and i hope you like this video subscribe to our channel and uh, i hope to see you in my next video for now bye bye have a great day